To the pandemic now, tonight a mask mandate returns to Los Angeles County while federal officials in Washington sound the alarm over a surge in infections nationwide. CBS's Christina Raffini joins us from the White House with more on that. Christina, good evening. Good evening, Errol. The White House is calling the Delta variant formidable. Cases are on the rise in all 50 states and 99.5% of deaths are in patients who haven't gotten their shots. There is a clear message that is coming through. This is becoming a pandemic of the unvaccinated. With COVID-19 on the rise nationwide, Florida is now patient zero, accounting for one in five of all new cases. Just four states make up almost half the reported cases in the last week. Among the hardest hit, Arkansas, Louisiana, Missouri, and Nevada. Clearly this is attributable to two things growing prevalence of the Delta variant, and secondly, vaccination rates that remain woefully inadequate. In Los Angeles, the mask mandate is going back into place for everyone. I don't like it. I'm vaccinated. I wish everybody else would get vaccinated. The White House is trying to convince more young people and vaccine skeptics to take their medicine, even mixing in a dose of pop star power. If Olivia Rodrigo tells you to get vaccinated, you get vaccinated. But President Biden this week blamed vaccine misinformation on social media platforms like Facebook for discouraging many Americans from getting their shots. They're killing people. I mean, it really, they really, look, the only pandemic we have is among the unvaccinated. And tonight, CBS News has learned that three of those Texas Democrats who fled their state in order to stop that controversial voting legislation from getting passed and came here to D.C. have tested positive for COVID. Their caucus said they were all vaccinated before they traveled. Errol. And Christina, there's more news out of Texas. A federal judge there halting DACA, the Obama-era program that allowed young immigrants brought to the U.S. by their parents to stay in the country. What is the reaction from the White House on that? That's right, Errol. In a statement this morning, the president called it disappointing. He urged Congress to come up with a pathway for these young people to get citizenship and said the Justice Department will appeal the decision. All right, Christina, thank you.